but I mean, D Disney's getting desperate. So any any sort of rumor mills that uh, are, are turning up, they're trying their darndest to turn the ship around. I know I put out a video th this morning about uh, the Deadpool 3 cameo by Taylor Swift, uh, which I think, oh, yeah, for like really? a little 30-second... Is that confirmed? Might be, might be real. Not confirmed, but it's looking, it's it's looking, looking definitely like, like she might... is going to be Dazzler or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Gosh, really? <laughs> Well, aren't they doing? Aren't they doing like? Aren't they doing like multiverse shit in that? So maybe yeah. she's just yeah. a, a very cameo type thing. Maybe yeah. she'll like maybe. be killed I mean, off if, real quick. Like if she uh... passed away any character. I mean, well, yeah. they could pull yeah. off the uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness yeah. and just kill off a really popular cameo. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, because is Wolverine in that movie? Is he a variant or is he the actual? He, they're all know. variants. Yeah, they're all variants. They, they, they're not gonna screw with uh, the Logan, uh, like the Fox Universe one. Yeah, uh, everybody loved Logan, so they didn't want to mess mess with that. Well, but correct me if I'm wrong. They implied in Logan that he had been a causation or had seen the annihilation of the X Men. So that they say something like that in the trailer. Uh, I think this is just a Wolverine that in his universe failed his people or whatever and that's who deadpool is is grabbing in his pruning of whatever's left it's just an excuse mm -hmm. for him to run through a bunch of different realities with hugh jackman in costume so and they've said a billion times that the logan that died uh in logan is dead it's not that Logan because they're not going to undo or touch anything yeah but they did it looked like daphne keen was in that one scene in the trailer so they might bring X-23 back. Oh, no, she might be in it as an X-23, but that Logan isn't going to, like, magically come back to life. Okay. And she may not even be that X-20. She'll be a right. X-23. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, so nothing the, matters uh, anymore. <laughs> right. That is sort of the problem with it, yeah. Well, see, my assumption was that this was actually taking place, <clears throat> excuse me, before Logan. Uh, it's a possibility. This is this is after you have to have watched Loki season two to even understand. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a whole TVA yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the whole TVA angle to this, like nobody watches the damn Disney Plus shows. So how are they supposed to know? They show up, and you know, oh, suddenly Monica Rambeau <laughs> is in this movie. Like, who the hell is she? That's why they have to do like recaps. Because oh, everybody in went their and movie. saw the Marvels, obviously. Yeah. They knew right, yeah. Was. It did so well. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it broke a billion dollars, didn't it? I thought it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. good. Didn't even make over 200 million. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was great for all our channels. Guys, yeah, it's, it's just sad because it's feel bad for the people involved in it that just, oh, look, look how great we are. It's like, well, it turns mm -hmm. out you can't just slap together a bunch of check marks and think a great movie will be made. Yeah, I know. And uh, I guess they're like going to throw the kitchen sink at this because in that one scene you see, uh, I forget the uh, the character's name, but she was in the first two Deadpool movies uh, with Colossus. Uh, oh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead? Yeah, oh. that one. <laughs> uh, she was in that. And then I saw Azazel and Lady Deathstrike. So, yeah, and there's uh, Pyro from the yeah. Fox. It's going to be a mashup. And no, I've heard that um, the people that like have seen it, every all the shit that people thought they were going to see in uh, Multiverse of Madness, like those are the cameos that we're going to get. That's the famed Henry Cavill is supposed to be a Wolverine variant camo uh, cameo. Oh, wow. Yeah, hmm. like you're going to get every, you will get the kitchen sink. Apparently, I, I don't know. I, this is going to do nothing for MCU. I'm just it's catharsis for saying goodbye to the Fox. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to say goodbye and like finally see Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds yeah. get to do the movie I've heard them talk about for like a fucking decade, basically. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, if you guys notice at the beginning of the trailer, there's that like 20th Century Fox sign that's like destroyed in the sand. I don't know if you guys caught that. I saw that I in the side watch photo. The trailer, so I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to avoid it. Good. But yeah, I agree because they spoil a bunch of shit. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I just. You know, yeah. I'll just I felt like they were like, look how. Uh, Look how R-rated we are. Let's, let's just say fuck continuously. But, <laughs> yeah, did they even right. label it a, a red band trailer? <laughs> it had to have been, that, right? I watched it, it on Ryan Reynolds' that, channel because he doesn't yeah. claim people, but, well, eventually he will. Probably in theaters it will have that, but online. Well, because one, at one time, I forgot what movie it was I watched, and they played that trailer, and the pegging line was cut, and then when I went mm. to go see Ungenuinely Warfare, the trailer was there, and it was in. 
So I guess depending on which movie they give you with the R-rated trailer or the sanitized version, but hmm. all the yeah. cocaine stuff is funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's going around like with all the memes. I don't know. Yeah. So I got a question for you guys because I, you know, went through slow motion to try to see like any Easter eggs that they dropped. Uh, was that Jubilee in the, in the, uh, whatever birthday scene, uh, with, with, um, uh, like right before the TVA shows up. No, that's her girlfriend, but I don't. That's not Jubilee. That's another. Okay. Uh, I forgot her name, but yeah, no, it's like Suki something. It's not a. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's. A, I mean, that's a shame because we, we yeah. really haven't gotten the live action. Yeah, it would be cool. Either. Jubilee's. She was there. She was there from the start. Yeah, I mean, so she did, was she an X Men Apocalypse? I want to say. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think she was. I right. think. I think we have seen mm -hmm. her before. She's yeah, in the yeah. original couple X Men. She's just a background character. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okay, so like you see her, she's like a kid in the original. She's, yeah, she's wearing yeah. a yellow coat. It's like, yeah. what the hell yeah. else is wearing a yellow? Aside from April O'Neil and the teenage uh, Ninja Turtles, I, I think it's only her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but it would have been, been cool to see that. I love the uh, the costume that they put uh, Wolverine in. Only took 20 years to get here. But put the mask on. You're getting it. Still, yeah, he's still not wearing the mask. Fucking mask. I think there's um, a bunch it, of leaked shit of him might. with the mask, but. You know that it's going to be on, and then that's an end scene, so it'll be off by the end scene. But at least yeah, he took the sleeves yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, he took the sleeves off too. Almost, pr yeah, I know. We yeah. oh, we went from the '90s where it's like, what do you expect? Well, yellow spandex joke, in the when they're in the first uh, oh, X Men yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. To he's in the fucking yellow spandex finally. <laughs> it's full circle now. 